RTAs, otherwise known as Return of Artist, are done through the Purchase Order screen. Right now I'm looking at the item grid. Now let me go ahead and select this title called Unmatched and open it up. Every item that you create in Masterpiece will have a purchase order number associated with it. So one way to find out what the purchase order number is, is to open up the item. In this case, it is 1001. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the inventory tab is selected and click on purchase order. That's going to open up the purchase order grid and you can find the purchase order via the title or the vendor or purchase order date or by the number. In this case, it's the very first purchase order. So I'm going to click on the title and hit the return button. That's going to open up my purchase order screen. I'm going to click on the detail tab and then click on the title that I want to do an RTA of. Now if I have 10 items on one purchase order, then you'll want to make sure that you click on the appropriate title and then return just that one. So when I click on it, I'm going to put in the quantity that I'm going to return. Now this is a unique piece, so it will always be a 1. So I'm just going to put a 1 there and hit save and then hit OK. Okay, so that has now been RTA. So if I go to the item screen here, you can see this title called Unmatched now has RTA in the location column. And let me go ahead and open it back up. And I can also go to the stock locations tab here and it will tell me when it was RTA. So what happened was it took it out of the inventory, but it recorded that you used to have the item for inventory purposes. And you can always get the inventory back if you ever get the item back. So that's the process of RTAs.